You wouldn't have even thought about it if Gary and his young found out about their baby. Look, look, come on, it'd be nice to know if it's a he or a she. You know, we could pick a name, get pots of pain, or his slash her slash their room. Oh, I ain't twins. You better show me that scam photo. Oh, can't we just wait till it's born? You see, there you go, it. I mean, if we knew it was a he or a she, we wouldn't have to talk like it's a, a, a pet lizard or a pack of frozen peas. David should have a say in all this as well, you know. Here, here. Having said that, it might be nice to wait. More fun. Yeah, well, you like surprises, I don't. Right, grindstone. Not your phone, is it? Uh, no. It's under here if anyone asks. Oh, finally! I was beginning to think you weren't going to bother. Meet your future grandchild. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. And what did you decide about finding out whether it was a boy or a girl? We decided against telling you. Why? Well, you said you like surprises. So you know. Yeah. It's uh bu 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 gu 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 bu bu bu. I think I'm gonna have to kill him. <laughs> but everything's all right. I mean, you're all right. Yeah, they were a little bit worried about your blood pressure, though. Only to keep an eye on. Yeah, well, all the same, I think it's wise if we start looking for maternity cover ASAP. Whatever Carly wants, we'll manage. No, I don't want. All right, well, we'll vote then. All those in favour of you working and against. All right, you see that? She raised an hand. <laughs> oh, she, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, a beautiful little girl. Perfect. Going to work. Well, I just saw the post for that side, so. That DVD I ordered came then. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got in there? It's a cot. A cot? Couldn't we have discussed this? I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, mission accomplished. Maybe you not expecting me to put the thing together. I can't even do Lego. <laughs> no, I thought I could pick Max up from school and bring him home during his dinner, and we could do it together. You know, just involve him a bit more. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, it is. Come here. I just think ever since the scan, everything's been dead real, you know, and I can't wait to meet this little one. I just want us to be prepared. Well, we need at least one wage coming in, so you better get to the salon. Yeah, all right, I'll see you at dinner. Bye-bye. Yeah. He's going to make such a good dad. Let's just hope the baby's his, eh? Hey? <sighs> My mum said I didn't have a cop when I was born. And where'd you sleep, then? Well, cos we were staying with Mummy's mate, she had this chest of drawers. I slept in the bottom one. What? Not actually in the chest of drawers. I weren't pulling him in and out like I was looking for a clean pair of knickers. <laughs> you said knickers. Hey, it wasn't until I could afford a proper cot, but that drawer was just the right size, weren't it? I put pillows in and a blanket and your favourite teddy. And you slept right by Mummy all night, didn't you? Who does she think she is? Julie Andrews? It's just wrong. I knew lots of people who did that when I was young. I mean, not everybody could afford a fancy cot, especially young mums. See? They even did it in olden days. I don't know how you can be so nice with her. Well, what choice have I got? Oh, this must have cost... Oh, anyway, when I see him like yeah, this, I can yeah. just about put it to the back of my mind. Right, I'm, going to have to I'm not sure I could. No, you can't. The doctor says you need to rest. I I'm a waitress, not a ski instructor. We need the cash. Hey, now, come on, you two. Fine. All right, I'll do your evening shift. Eh? Well, it'll solve all our problems, won't it? And Nick's my brother, so he'll understand. Besides, it's only carrying blurts. Oh, yeah, like the last time when you dropped your grand's dinner all over the floor. Yeah, well, there's a lot more riding on it now, isn't there? Come on. You're doing your bit, let me do mine. All right, well, just a couple of weeks then, till my blood pressure's back to normal. Deal. I don't deserve you. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Evening all. You're early. Salon slack. Not with these hands. <laughs> no, uh, I've just come to see if I could possibly do Carly's evening shifts. Only for a couple of weeks. I know, so I've talked about this. We'll manage. Uh, will we? You know how busy we are with pub shop. Yeah, and to be honest, we could do with the extra cash. Carly all right with this? Yeah, yeah, of course she is. All right, then. Just don't want to repeat it last time. No, 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 it was a mess back then. Besides, I'm doing it for my wife and kid now, huh? Cheers. Get on with him. These are your chips. Don't change the subject. Do you know what I think you should do? No, seriously. I think you should have, like, a lad's night out. You know, do a bit of male bonding. This isn't sex in the city. Hey, David, I ordered some chips. 
No, I thought I brought them. No. Look, your brother is complacent and lazy, and we've got nothing in common. He's just mouthy, impulsive, with an outward swagger that's just hiding yes, a right, deep in right. Sorry, mate. I think there is. Oh, keep him. No, no, honestly. No, I, I don't want him. No, I wouldn't be that petty. Look, will someone have these flaming chips? Okay. <laughs> Everything all right? No, it's not. <sighs> Sorry. No, no, mate, you should go home. You look dead in your feet. No, I... Yeah, Friday's always money. Don't worry, I'll pay you in full. Right, OK, I'll get an early night and I'll be on it tomorrow, I promise. How many more? She's hungry. Hi, babe. How was work? Uh, yeah, great. You look exhausted. I'll go on me tea up. No, it's all right. I'll do it. You rest. No, I've done it all day. Oh, that's certainly true. <sighs> Not long now. Oh, I can't wait. I'm fed up with feeling like a giant space hopper. No, you're just a little space hopper. Hmm. Actually, I am going to go for 40 winks. OK. I'll see you in a bit. Why didn't you get me up? Because you needed to sleep. I'd have done the washing up. I know, which is why I've done it. Now sit down and I'll make you some breakfast. No. And don't even think about arguing. Where's Mark? Girl's taking him to park. But I'm going to do that. I'll get it. Hey, you alright? <sighs> Morning. Morning. She didn't wake me up. Oh, change the record, will you? Do you fancy a brew? No, I'm good. I just wondered if David could work the evening shift. Oh, you are kidding. He's shattered. I know. I wouldn't ask, but it's bank holiday. We're fully booked. No, it's fine. Whatever you need, I'm there. The tips alone will make it worthwhile. Oh. What? Hang on. Kylie. Oh, I said hang on a minute. Nick, call an ambulance. Oh, my God. The baby's kicking. <laughs> All right, chill out in there. What? No. Can't be. You're only 21 weeks. It must be something else. No, it isn't, baby. Just need to sit down a minute. Kylie, the book says. Oh, stuff what the book says. Have a feel for yourself if you don't believe me. You were saying? No way. That is mental. Nick, you got to check this out. Sorry. Well, come on. Oh, don't be daft. <laughs> I feel odd. But why? Come on, you're my brother. Seriously, this is important to me. Come on. How amazing is that? What do you think you're doing? Sorry? I said, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Mike's upstairs. Take your gear off, Bushy. OK. I told you to leave this to me. And I ignored you. Shall I make us some lunch? <laughs> David, I am not made of China. You touch that button again and there's going to be trouble. OK. Ah. I didn't touch it. Very mature. Yeah, well, you should be resting anyway, especially after earlier. What happened earlier? Oh, the baby kicked. You put that plug back in. No. <sighs> you need help, you. Why? Because I want to take care of you. This isn't taking care of me. It's about you being some mental case. You're always watching me. I can't move without you hovering. It's getting weird. You're weird. The whole flaming thing is weird. Don't say a word. I'll bring your drinks over and some nibbles for Max while you decide what you want to eat. Yeah, cheers, man. Thanks, Nick. Well, this is, uh, lovely. Oh, I can't keep saying I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Tell me something I don't know. I promise I'll get my act together. You better. Am I forgiven? Oh, Mate, I gotta get home. Oh, come on, just a drink to celebrate. Go on then, just one. Uh, two bottles of lager, please, Leon. Yeah, coming up. I don't look like that. Feel yeah, soon, though. Oh, ouch. Yeah, maybe you should just have a starter. For that, I'm having two main courses. Friends again? Oh, don't bank on it. Oh. <laughs> Give me a sec. You are home early? Yeah, Nick made me. Said my arms were putting people off. Where's Kyla? Having a bath. 
Leave her alone, David. She's not going to drown. I'm only going to go see if she wanted it all. She's fine. Sit down. You're dead on your feet. You can't carry on like this, you know. Right, what? Working yourself into the ground. Stressing over Kylie. This rate, you're going to be a wreck before the baby's even born. And so will she. I just want to make sure nothing will go wrong, that's all. Well, do you know, we can't control everything in life. Sometimes you just got to sit back and trust that things will work out. You think I'll be a good dad? You already are. No, that was different. Max was five. And this is going to be a baby. My baby. You'll be a wonderful dad. Hey, is it true, you know, what folks say when they're like, oh, he's got your nose and... You know, stuff like that. I think you look like me. I hope so. Uh, Max, come and put your coat on. Oh, mate, don't make me chase you. I haven't got the energy. Well, that's because you're dead on your feet. No work, no play. I play. I've just played top trumps with Max. Max! You're doing too much. It's bad for you. There's plenty of people who do two jobs. And anyway, it's only for one more week. Anyway, I can manage. Right, come on. Bag. See you later. See you, love. Ow! Sorry. It's twice. It's like Sweeney Flaming Todd's in here. He was a highly underrated stylist, actually. Remembered for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, one more cut. I need a blood transfusion. Sorry, mate. Don't call me mate. Sorry, Mr. Tanner. Uh, sorry. What do I need to finish? Hmm? I think I can manage a trim. Uh. Well, I don't think your mind's quite on your job today, you know. Thanks, Gran. All those late nights in the bistro, they seem to be taking their toll. Not you, are not Gran, I can handle it, oh, all right? Really not. Now, go on, make yourself useful. I'm oh, sorry about this, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be in the basement, then, cleaning the pie machine if you need me. Oh. It's what we both want. It was out of order for you to undermine me in front of a customer like that. Dennis walked out of here looking like that Vincent van Gogh. Oh, come on, it was a tiny nick. And anyway, that's not the point. It was unprofessional. It is unprofessional to turn up in an unfit state. I am in a fit state. <sighs> Carly, would you try and talk some sense into this one, please? Because I am going home. Bye-bye. Oh, I don't listen to anything I say. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just made a schoolboy error, that's all. And she says it's because I'm overworking. Well, she's right. You are. Oh, not this again. Carly, it's only for now, all right? Right, OK. Look, Max is at a mate's and I'm going to make us a nice tea. Yeah, well, you'll have to stick mine in the oven. I'm sorry, I told Nick I'd be there for six o'clock. Here, can you lock up and all? What? <sighs> Have you given Mind you, that dip is gorgeous. Mm. Oh, it's tzatziki. Mm. Well, congratulations to the pair of you. I'm very pleased for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Thanks. <laughs> you doing that, Mind you. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I just felt funny. Funny? Uh, low blood sugar or something. I'll, I'll get a brush. No, no, no. Mm. I'll do it. Sit down. You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, why don't you go home? I'll cover your shift. No, no, honestly, I'll be all right. I can't believe you dobbed me in. Oh, no. I'm sure to know what happened. Yeah. Look, nothing happened, right? I just lost my balance, that's all. Which in this business can be fatal. Yeah. Today it was a champagne flute. Tomorrow could be a Phillips snake. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, I'll be more careful next time. See, this just proves what we've been saying. You're burning yourself out. Oh, come on, that's rubbish. I need some more tops. Oh, I'll do you some more now. No, new ones. Some that stretch a bit. I've got a couple you can borrow. Really? Do you mean like maternity wear? Yeah, they do all sorts these days. Most of it you wouldn't be seen dead in. Trousers oh. with massive elasticated waistbands. Have you seen them? It's done greasy, mate. Oh, yeah. Painter and decorator look. Good. Oh, Frankie says relaxed T-shirts made good maternity wear. I had one when I was pregnant with Sarah. What about when you were pregnant with me? Frankie says I bought. <laughs> Davey. <laughs> that is well tight. I'll uh, nip out in my lunch hour. Mm. I'll go. Right, well, I'll drop you off then. You'll be rushed off your feet. We know about yesterday. Why? What happened yesterday? You dropped a champagne flute. Oh, not that again. 
Don't touch this iron, it's still hot. Max! Sorry I'm late, Grant. I just had to drop Kylie off in town. Oh, dear, you all right? No, I just nearly had a fight. Who with? A woman in her 50s. Your mother? No, another driver. She pulled out in front of me, yeah, so I kept my hand on the horn. She got out, so I got out. She didn't touch my car, did she? No, oh, your car's fine. Oh, so what'd she say? Well, she wasn't very ladylike, put it that way. And I didn't fancy my chances. Was she on her own? She'd have managed. Oh, why don't you sit down, I'll make you a cup of tea, and I've got some of those shortbreads you like. What time has Mrs Cooper for you? Um, actually, no, we've had some cancellations, so... Uh, for real? Yes, yeah, so why don't you put your feet up and let Maria pull her weight for a change? Do you know what? I might just take you up on that. In fact, you know, why don't you go home? I'm sure I owe you a few hours. What, paid? Of course, paid. This isn't to do with Rita's hair, is it? No. And Dennis is here? What? Oh, that champagne glass I smashed in the bistro. David! Do you want the day off or not? I can manage, you know. Yeah, I know you can. How are you feeling? I was asleep. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, you gave me the day off to relax. I've been in bed less than an hour and you're around here in my ear all. I'm not in your ear all at all. Come on now. I bought you a sandwich and the last of the shortbread, which I promised. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. All right, then. Soon as all you're here. All right. Uh, who's picking Max up? I am. I thought I'd take him to the park, see the ducks, you know. You know, do be careful, sweetheart. Why? Well, because you... Well, I mean, you just can't tell with ducks, can you? I mean, they're like geese. They can be really nasty. And then Max may tumble into the pond. I mean, ponds can be very dangerous. So how are you managing in the salon without it's me? fine, thank you. As I said, we're really quiet. Maria's doing Mrs Cooperthwaite now. I thought Mrs Cooperthwaite had cancelled. Yes, yes, she did. What's she doing in, then? Oh, <laughs> well, you know, Mrs Cooperthwaite, she's a bit... <laughs> no, she's not. She's sharp as a tack. Yeah, well, that's as maybe. Anyway, um, no, what, what happened was... <laughs> She thought, Mrs Cooperthwaite, that it was next week she couldn't make, so that's why she rang up and cancelled. Then when she realised it was this week, <laughs> she rang up again and said, could she come in? Oh, by that time, you'd left. Well, what an elaborate lie. It's not an elaborate anything. Well, this thing's mad. Right, should we go see these ducks, then? Yeah. Must be fun. It's over Right, put your shoes on them. Come on. Hiya. Hey, I like your shoes. The new. Yeah, I wish. You're right. What's wrong? Yes. I've got to have two fillings, and he can't even watch his son for an hour. Well, would it help if I? And ever since I started going out with Ryan, he's been dead spiteful. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was just with me, but when it's Joseph as well. Well, slow down. All right. Why didn't he come to the park with us? I mean, I'm only taking him just to see the ducks. What, really? You take him with you? Well, yeah, well, I don't mind. I'll we'll have to get me practising, don't I? I mean, this will be me in a couple of months' time. Go on, you get yourself off. It'll be fine, honestly. Oh, and good luck with the, um... <laughs> Come on, then, Donald, over here. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Oi, Daffy. You stupid duck, over here. Max. What? Nothing.
Kylie's having David's baby, yeah? David. Well, we hope so. No, no, no. There's no hoping. That's not how this is going to be. And no one's going to question it. So stop looking at everything I do as a sign of feeling guilty. Well, not everything. But sooner or later, David's going to notice. Then he's going to start wondering. Well, the biggest threat to David's happiness isn't me or Kylie. It's you. This is him, so no more, please. Uh, hey, David. It's Max. Hey, Max. How are you? Something's happened to David. He's fallen over. What do you mean, he, he's fallen over? Has he had an accident? Who was? Look, uh, where are you? Are you at home? We're in the park. In the park? What, did David take you there? Yeah. Except now he's asleep and won't wake up. OK, uh, is there anyone else with you? Any grown-ups? There's Joseph and he's crying. Who's Joseph? Uh, Katie's little lad. We brought him with us. OK, well, look, uh, don't worry, cos I'm going to come and find you, OK? Uh, hello. Sorry, not allowed to speak now, then. Look, uh, stay on the phone and I'll come and find you in the park. <sighs> David's had some kind of accident. Oh, no! Look, what can you see around you? 200 quid. Oh, Max, I've seen you. I'm coming. What's going on? He fell over and went to sleep. Oh, well done, Max. Well done. Look, uh, I'm going to take you and Joseph home. What happened? I haven't a clue. Do you think you had one of your fits? Yeah, I must have done. How are you feeling? Do you think you can stand? I think so. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Take your time. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking after them, too. Okay. Looks like Max did a pretty good job of looking after you. I do like them. Oh, thanks for bringing him back. That's okay. Yeah, and I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No, it's not. It was her that was supposed to be looking after him. Who couldn't? Cos she had to go to the dentist. So she asked his dad, but he wouldn't help. And why wouldn't he? Who is it that's walked out on this family? Yeah, well, maybe everyone can see why now. Come on, you should have to listen to this. Yeah, well, just don't go blaming me when all this is because of what you've done. Anyway, come on now, let's get you home. You're the one that needs looking after. Yeah, because I'm the sicko. You don't want your kids near Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want any of that sin. Not the words I'd use, but David does have a point. What point? Well, that he shouldn't be left in charge of other people's children. Well, perhaps not even his own. <laughs> Can't help it, he's got epilepsy. He's great with them. Yeah, well, not when he's lying unconscious, he isn't. I don't believe I'm hearing this. You're always this nasty about your neighbours. Oh, well, you're bound to defend him, aren't you? And we all know why, don't we? Do we? Girls told me about your family secret. He's my brother. Of course yeah, I and to... you're very close. Certainly where his wife's concerned. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just saying, don't lecture me on what I should and shouldn't say when it's you and Kyla that need to be careful. Nick, don't you think you should go see a doctor, have a check-up? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, there's a surgery this evening. Right, well, can you please both go and tell him that because he won't take any notice of me? Uh, or anyone else for that matter. I don't even know why I'm bothering. They always say the same thing anyway. Don't overtire yourself. You're bothering to keep Kylie happy. No, I'll come with you, but I've got to get back to work. No, it's all right. I'm a big boy. I can go to the doctors by myself. But I never thanked you, by the way, for riding to the rescue. Yeah. It's Max you should be thanking. Yeah. If anybody ever lets me near him again. Why well, wouldn't they? But would you? Leave your kid with a neighborhood misfit? Come on. Because I wouldn't. Well, I've got a kid of my own on the way and no-one's going to trust me with him. Of course they will. But why would they, when I won't even trust myself? Now, I won't be able to take him to the park because what happened today could happen any time. I shouldn't even be a dad. We'll get home now. Hey. Have you been? Yeah, I've been. They told me to get plenty of rest and take it easy. And I said, oh, yeah, well, when this baby comes along, who's going to look after it then? You. You didn't. No, I didn't. I should have done that. Kylie, they can say what they want. I'm still going to carry on anyway, and if I have more fits, I have more fits. Who cares? No, David, that ain't the answer. Yeah, well, stuff not drinking either. Can you get me a beer, please? <sighs> One. And that's all you're having. Are you serious? Yes, the sicko's having a drink. Will you stop talking like that? Nick, tell him. She's right. You've got to do what the doctor says. Take it easy. And let us help you. Because it's what we both want to do. Yeah, I know. I do appreciate it. I don't deserve you both, do I? No. 
Yeah, I tell you, there's nobody with a better brother or a better wife. I do know that much. You gone off your ice crispies? No. <laughs> Were you letting them go soft and mushy? Just thinking. About what? What if the baby's epileptic? Well, it won't make no difference. We'll love her whatever she is. Mm, just means she's like you. Mm. Yeah, but it can be dangerous, though, can't it? I mean, what if it's hereditary? It, it can do some amazing stuff now. Like, what if there's a test they can do where they prove whether she's got it or not? I don't need no tests. Yeah, but if we can find out anything about the baby, we, we'd be better prepared. <laughs> we are prepared. But if it's possible to do it, then why not do it? At least we'd be doing something positive. I am. I, I'm going to go book an appointment with a doctor and see if we can sort this out. How much is it? It's Kylie about. Uh, me. Well, I thought she was working. Well, she'll be in in half an hour. Can I help? Uh, well, just if you see her before I do, can you let her know I couldn't get an appointment with a doctor until Friday? What, as if they're not Yeah, it's fine. Just thinking maybe we should do a genetic test on the baby to see if she's got epilepsy. What, before she's born? What? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It's just, it might be hereditary. It won't change anything. It's just nice to know everything. I don't like surprises, you see. So if you see her, you just give her the message, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. You all right? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Hey, what can I get you? Uh, orange juice, please, and, uh... Uh, yeah, I'll have the same, actually. I'll try that off the booze for a bit. Another dent in my profit margin. <laughs> Listen, I'm not too thrilled about Kylie taking more shifts, you know? It wasn't my idea. I'm fine. Yeah, well, anything can happen. Look, I know you're sensitive after your seizure, but millions of women have babies every day. Yeah, but I'm only concerned about one. There's no need to go over the top. Kylie's healthy, the baby's healthy. You can't wrap them in cotton wool. Go chasing medical tests. They won't change anything, no matter what the outcome. Is he booked in for a meal? Uh, no idea. Well, he knows about this sort of stuff. Maybe we should go speak to him. Oh, please don't go pestering my customers. Well, he won't mind. He's a decent bloke. I'll go and ask. Is there any history of epilepsy in your family? Not that I know of. Well, then I'm pretty confident that if the only person affected is the father... That's me. ...then the risk of inheriting anything is only slightly higher than for any child. You probably know more about this than me, but I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. Sorry we hijacked you. Not a problem. Glad to be of help. Again. <laughs> well, Maria's probably going to be here in a minute. All right, we'll leave you alone. Well, oh, um, just one question before we go. Do you know if there's any tests they can do on the baby, like tests for epilepsy? Uh, are you absolutely sure? That's what it says here. There is no test for epilepsy on the unborn child. So it's just part luck, then? I'm a midwife, not a doctor. You can find all this stuff on the internet. Yeah, I know, but it's still... Look, because... stop worrying. You should be enjoying this time before the baby comes. You're not going to have any time to worry when it gets here. Could you book him some yoga classes? <laughs> Take up fishing, but just... Try and relax, OK? Did you hear that? Where? Yeah, I'm at the bistro now. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, no, it's fine. I I I'll come back. All right, bye. Liam's got a temperature. I'm going to have to go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thanks, though. Bye. Right. See you. He's a nice bloke, isn't he? Do you feel better now? A bit, yeah. He's going. Quite frankly, I can't blame him. Punches don't come here to be pestered. So, there you go, driving my customers away. No, he had to go. Liam had a temperature. Yeah, it was quite helpful, though. What did he say? Oh, that it's fine. There's no test that can be done on the baby, and it's not even likely that she'd have it anyway. Well, that's a relief. So, uh, can we relax now? I just want everything to be perfect, that's all. Yeah, and it will be, babe. You just need to stop worrying. 